Of course. <laughs> okay. So I just started to record this entire thing. Uh, hope uh, we can make an amazing session. So this is the sixth session of uh, being an influencer, influencing inner self. And today's session is all about deep learning and deep working and many other things which will help you to be closer to an influencer. So let me just take you quickly through a couple of slides which will show you how we are gonna do about all these things and uh, there are a lot of stuff that we are gonna talk about. Yeah, so this is my first page. I'm trying to be more you know, uh, professional into making this entire thing. Uh, I have a new designation. I don't know how you like it, but you can keep a note. At the end of the session, you can message me if you find anything that is lacking or anything that I need to uh, make changes here. I found this designation is amazing called as being brother, being a brother, okay? And uh, definitely a co-learner as well. Okay, so uh, we'll talk, before we go into the deep level, let us go into the upper level. Let us show you how the upper level looks like. And uh, so today's session is divided into two parts or other lines of three parts. The first part is where I introduce this entire system of deep, the meaning of deep, deep learning, deep working and all those things. I will share you why we are trying to do all these things. And uh, I will also go, go to our step-by-step -step processes. Now these are processes which are developed by experts. And this is not mine. I'm, I'm openly telling you this is not mine, but this is something that I have been learning. And uh, I'm also practicing a lot of stuff. In this last 10 days, probably I've finished more than 27 books, small articles, two books, whatever you call it as. And this is one of them. And uh, let's go deep, you know, this is not one of them. This is, I think, taken from probably five of them. I have accumulated a lot of stuff here. And uh, hope so, I try to give something beyond. So are you guys ready for this? Yep. Okay, thank you. So, if you type deep learning on Wikipedia on Google, you will find something called as machine learning. So this is not what I'm talking about. This is all about human beings. But yes, uh, there are certain definitions of what we're gonna do over there. I don't want to go into the theoretical aspect. I will talk about the practical aspect as well. Uh, if you can concentrate on these two words, deep structured learning or hierarchical learning, this is the same thing that we're gonna do for ourselves also, okay? So just to keep you away, deep learning, when you search Google, this is a different thing, but deep learning for human is only with us. So this is the first time happening in the world. Probably we are talking about how deep learning can be beneficial for us. So going to the next one, um, I was trying to figure out what exactly is machine. Machine has got probably more than 10,000 different kind of definitions and uh, most of the definitions talk about the same language that it is it is a kind of uh, a mechanical power, an apparatus, uh, which does particular task many number of times. So basically, basically any repeats. So when any machine does a repeat jobs, and uh, as a lot of, lot of innovations are happening up, machines are replacing human beings, right? And almost the repeat jobs are not there at all. So what we need to understand is, if there is anything repeat, we have a solution. So if you need to be somebody different, then you need to do something which cannot be repeated. So let me go into the next part of what is called as shallow work. So this is a kind of a definition I will try to give you before I go into the deeper segment. So shallow work is a kind of a, a I'll say a, a logical style task, which is like you can do it when you are semi-distracted state of your mind as well, okay? For example, you can answer an email while probably having a cup of coffee. Uh, you can sort out certain documents, you can run stuff, you know? So this is something where you really don't need to think over and this is something which you have been already conditioned, okay? Even riding a bicycle can be a shallow work. You can, you can listen to your music, you can look at stuff, you can ride a bicycle. Probably you can ride a bicycle without, uh, you know, with, with only single hand, and probably you can do something else with the other hand, right? Uh, so these are certain things which, which are like conditioned, and uh, these are something called as shallow work. Now the thing that is uh, important is, 
we have a combination of both a shallow work and a deep work okay and i'll be talking about more into where do we do these transitions and there are a lot of things in the process so let us go deeper now why i'm talking about all these things why this particular slides or this presentation or this entire se you know session is important for all of us so anything i'll just read out this entire line and let's go a little deeper into this any task that you can complete while in semi distracted state will likely to be automated in near future so i remember there are a lot of youtube videos which says robots are taking off you have got artificial intelligence right and uh, there are uh, for example my my father he was working with uh, railways and he was into this ticket booking and uh, reservations hardly i see any queue coming up right now there is no queue actually the eta queue has gone into an automated system and online booking online ticketing right so this is something that i have seen personally there is no one at the queue now so coming to the second part even we don't have a job of you know uh, a farmer as well you have got artificial intelligence based kind of robots which can take care of all the farming you know putting water to the plants and uh, taking you to a school you have got automation in terms of cars they can drop you anywhere without any any uh, problems they know the exact situations uh, groceries can come to your home there are a lot of things that are happening okay so this is something where if we do the same thing a shallow task we are 100% that it will be replaced by robots or some sort of software programs so are you guys with me so far yes awesome right so anything else so far do you think anything uh, it, you have a disconnect with me do you feel this is something which is going to happen is already happening yeah yeah it's quite quite logical it's great to to put it this way it's very clear <laughs> so probably i have i don't have one slide but let me tell you this is something that i learned from different books so when we do shallow work okay i'll come to this same line let me just finish probably this second line the task will be completed by several thousand people around the world who are willing to do it for far less money than you are doing it for okay because these are the only two ways either it will be replaced by you know a developing nation where there is a cheap labor and they are going to do the same thing efficiency is same okay i also like to tell you a couple of more things uh do you understand the difference between bargaining and negotiation mm <laughs> that's good uh bargaining looks cheap you know by listening to that term but i i don't know what 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 is the difference okay anyone wants to help prosper i would imagine it something like um talking to a sales person like bar bargaining and htc is like <laughs> more like negotiation okay good uh okay so we have a small rule here so if it is uh, around 10 seconds if it is not an answer then uh, i try to answer myself and uh, we move on is that fine just for the decorum of managing with all the people here just to help them out so bargaining is something where the end result the service or the product the value of those paired product is constant you don't change the value if it is a car the value of the car is same when you bargain it is just the price it's just the commercials the value is the same thing you don't alter with the value right it might be the same service the same car, same uh, product anything but when you negotiate it's a value exchange can happen the value transformation can happen you can take less you can take more and negotiation is a kind of a skill according to dale carnegie where the way you divide a cake, piece of a cake in such a way that the person on the other side always feels that he has the better portion or the bigger half okay so why it came out to this particular word at this particular time was bargaining and negotiation is when you are a kind of a same guys like this thousand of people who are doing the same thing you giving the same value the same efficiency the same quality and the only thing what changes is the price so this is called as bargaining right 
You there with me? Yeah. Oh. Okay. And uh, if I need to reconnect with a couple of sessions which we have co-learned, there are four or five stages. And this is a stage we call it as me too or me also. So you are a carpenter, I am a carpenter. You are a teacher, I am a teacher. Right? We do the same thing. And we bargain the price. The value is same. People can take up our job in just few, probably, you know, a uh, few dollars plus or minus. Mm -hmm. Coming to the second level, you have got something called as me beta. So here, you are not doing the same stereotype automated stuff. You are a little bit better in quality. People pay you a little more. Beyond that, we have got something called as me only. So where you rule with that kind of a market. But beyond that is something called as me exclusive, where you do not negotiate. You cannot be replaced. It's your originality. Right? Are, are you there with me? So far? Mm. So this is the same statement where I was trying to bring you with this word called bargaining and negotiations. The more shallow work you do, the less rare and valuable your skills are. And more likely that you can be replaced by a cheap alternative, anything. And I believe we are all here today to be somebody different, somebody who has value. Somebody who has originality, somebody who can think and create something, right? Yep. So definitely the next question is, how can you become a person of value? Well, to become a person of value, these are the five stuff which you have. And this looks very common. Focus on your growth, okay, be committed, fine offer more value, okay? So there is a way people will know more and you will be taken as a person of value and you offer stuff and you do, do, do all these things by gaining knowledge, you keep on studying. People know all these things. You can sharpen your skills, you can work hard and you understand time and all the stuff, right? Everyone knows about this. Every bloody person on earth knows about this. But still, we have different kind of people. We have got people who can inspire us, people who can motivate us, people who can influence us, people who can show us, guide us, and people who have achieved an amazing leap of strength. So far, so good. Any any inputs? And any inputs? Most welcome. If you can share any any points to me. Well. I would say being a person of value is is the very hardest things to do because you give something first. And what we used to do in the marketplace is to take something first. Yep. So sometimes giving value, it takes some time and the return is not linear. Mm, yeah. So guys, be ready to give value and not expecting any return immediately it could be not now but it could be a month later so um, yes but I, but uh, before that you need to believe in your own value yeah yeah yes good point any other point? yes you need to trust yourself that you can give value <laughs> oh yes. yeah that's true yeah you need to position yourself in a way that you could be that person who giving value, then mm. yeah, you can start to, to reach out yeah. to your market. Mm. Yeah. First, in, in your own mindset first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, let me understand, Prosper, is, you, know, you mentioned that, that do not expect. My question is, why the hell I shouldn't expect? Why shouldn't I expect? Well, you know, expectations come with the certain ideas of, uh, I'm talking about this kind of expectation, you know. I give yourself, I give something to you mm -hmm. and somehow without verbalizing or verbalizing it, I say, give me back something. <laughs> but 
in exchange, you know, that's yeah. what I mean by that, okay. you know. I understand, but there is a deep feeling in your world that today I'm giving you free of cost, man. One day, two day, three day, one month, one year, but da da da. Yes, of course, that kind of. I mean, yeah. My my point is like your expectations uh, is not rewarded, not necessarily rewarded immediately, right? Because Sometimes we don't think long term, we think too much short term. It's just about me, 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 me. Then I'm not really giving value, right? Because it's right. too much on me, me, me. So that's, that's my meaning there. Right. Yeah, I think actually the reason for this is people do not believe in themselves. <laughs> they, they, it's not that they don't want to give value. Mm. They don't, don't think they can. They, they don't know how. Yeah. And, uh, and that's why they focus on themselves because it's um, like lack of confidence. Yeah. You know, they need someone from outside to tell them that they're valuable. That's why they focus on me, me, me. Yeah. Yes. But, so today, let me understand one thing is, uh, as you rightly said, so understanding the value is basically putting the energy inside. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. So let us let us just go ahead a little bit. So this is a kind of an amazing slide. I love this thing. The diamond. Right. So you can, I mean, this is a kind of a gem type, which is not there, but this is the most expensive gem type. You cannot replace this. Right. So this is an irreplaceable value that you need to bring. Only then the other stuff can fall in place. So the two words that I always say is, if you need to be that person where people would love to know from you, love to be with you, love to see your stuff, love to hear about you, listen to you, follow you, you need to have two things. You need to have a value and you need to have something which is irreplaceable. These are interlinked. So are you there with me? Any input so far? Then we can go ahead. Oh. Yes, got it. Awesome, right. Got it, yeah. So the only two ways, or rather I'll say the only way is going into deep learning and thereby deep work. And definitely there is one more thing. Uh, guys, do you resonate with this word called as deep pocket? No. Okay. So deep learning, is deep earning <laughs> and deep earning is deep pocket. Okay. So there is a hidden expectation with all these things. Why the hell are we sitting here today? Why the hell people are looking at this YouTube or this video sessions? Because deep inside there is two things. How the hell I earn money? How the hell I become successful? How the hell I come out of these situations right now? And this is, this is so deep. Otherwise, we don't spend a single second here. So let's go and dive inside. So what is deep work? Uh, so this is a kind of a definition, uh, which is there, there. I don't want to really go into the definition, but let me just read out for you guys. It's hard but important intellectual work that is completed during long, uninterrupted periods of time. Deep work requires a state of distraction-free concentration to push your cognitive capabilities to their limits and create new value that is hard to replicate. Okay. That is hard to replicate. So having this definition is basically, I think I've already summarized the definition earlier. Okay. So let's go one more thing. So what has happened I've, I'll be probably giving you a couple, three examples. This is Mark Twain. He's one of the legendary authors. And uh, he was basically, you know, isolating himself from the entire mainstream. And he took all the things, even, you know, he didn't have any attention to his meals also many times. Okay. And the rest is a history. I'm sure you know this lady, Harry Potter. And J.K. Rowling, he, she has been tweeting, and all these informations are true. These informations have been taken from social media. You can do it yourself or you can ask me, I can give you this entire thing. And this is something where 
this is this is the person who are talking about the real thing that they have done so jk rowling uh, says that you know uh, she was getting this deep thing only when she was writing about her last series of harry potter she was in a luxury luxury uh, hotel i guess and uh, she found sh her writing capabilities were much more better because she was uh, able to concentrate more there and she could finish amazing uh, stories okay okay let us do one thing let us hear from some of the richest people on earth the most successful guys on earth no undoubtedly he is one of them do you agree this is a, this is a point of we can agree <laughs> okay so he talks something called as uh, internet tidal wave and what we got to know is basically this gentleman takes almost a couple of weeks he goes out absolutely in a in a place where there is no cell phones no distractions nothing and he came to india in fact many times he went to some of the jungles and you know some of the places like uh, kerala where he spent two weeks three weeks and that's the time he invented something called as future thinking future thinking and this is something i mean you can just type in internet tidal wave you will find plenty of things what he has written in this two or three um, you know weeks and uh, i don't know many of you know that i take a kind of a session separately it's called as influence inner self which is a program which is designed for 37 hour i mean 37 days there is a number which is scientifically has been designed for that and this is something where these are the people who have proved that this particular number works. People have achieved huge success, huge accomplishments in less than one month, almost three weeks. And so, okay. Wow. This is something which is, you, you can figure out, you can Google it out. You will get plenty of things. I don't have to really give you a kind of a trust factor here. You can really do that. So let's go deeper. Tidal wave. Right. You can, you can find plenty of things are there. So I've got lots to talk <laughs> and I'll be, I'll be asking a lot of things. So uh, let's dive into the deep learning. And this is now for the humans. Okay. Let's go ahead. You there with me so far? Yeah. Awesome. So before we go into uh, the deep work, we have got four deep rituals, some requirements we have. And this is something many people, after learning also, they don't do it. Okay, so let's go one by one. The first D means dedicated workspace. You definitely need a place to work separately. Your thinking time has to be different. Your thinking and working time needs absolutely uh, you know, high power focus stuff. Okay, so sometimes, you know, even I also put this do not disturb sign board in my room. And uh, I have something different, which I say is great mind at work. I have taken a kind of a small poster and I had printed it and do not disturb. And uh, this is something that you can try out in different places, but see to it that this is a secluded place, absolutely different where you don't have problems of anything, not including your kids, pets, mobile phones. I mean, if Alison it is very much important and uh, Many times we get distracted with a lot of stuff. We keep on playing with pencil, pen, a lot of things. Okay. Or we just scratch ourselves. Everything counts. Right now, just right now, take two seconds or three seconds, exactly figure out what is there in your hand. What is there near to yourself? Is there anything which can distract you in the next two minutes? What are the possibilities are there? Right. So yeah. asking a question, right? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. But what we have on our hand, right? Is it? Yeah. I have my pen. Okay. The yeah, pen. me too. <laughs> right. But the thing is, some people play with the pen. It's a distraction. I see. Uh, okay. There is a new word in the market. Trust me, I have not understood this word uh, only by last year. It's called as fidgeting. Fidgeting. Okay. Fidgeting is a small instrument, uh, which which I don't know who has developed this. Trust me, it is one of the hot selling thing for the kids. But trust me, this is this is like something like they feel you can get into attention, but I'm sorry, this is not attention. F 
Fidgeting is another time waste thing for me. But if it works for you, go ahead. So people have different words. They call it as doodling. They call it as fidgeting. They have got something called as scraping. Man, so many things. For me, these are all deep learning shit. This is not, this is not happening, right? So this is the first thing. Dedicated war specs is in your mind or in your space, in your environment, and we'll go into the other side as well. The second alphabet, E, is the exact end time. Exact end time. These are the four things, as I said, is more vital. You need to have a specific time to end. Okay? Because you see, uh, let me give an example of a soccer, yeah, soccer match. It's a 90 minutes match. What happens in the last probably five minutes? You see, people uh, behave in a different way. Have you seen any soccer match, match or cricket match or anything, any, anywhere there is a kind of a game? Every game is almost time bound. I think other than chess, I guess. Do you see a difference when people start the game and people when they finish the game? People make world records with this time. Right. Anything else you want to, you want to share about these things? This, as I said, this is an open session. Anyone can talk about anything. Right. It's quite clear. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. So let's go ahead. So by establishing a clear end time for each deep work session, you give yourself permission to focus intensely and experience discomfort. So guys, if you're noting down these two words, any which ways you can, you can have this slide, not a problem. But these are the two words I figured out in last seven days. This is so, so, so damn important. The first one I understand. There are a lot of thousands and millions of books who are talking about how to focus, how not to focus, how to position, how not to position. Plenty of formulas. But what has actually worked for me is the second part called as experience the discomfort. Another one more page. Just another one more push up. Okay, in that frame. Okay, I have to finish this. Just one more. Okay, but we don't have time. Well, in the last previous sessions, I have you now shared how do I, I hack time and I've shared you the kind of simple protocols how we can hack time as well. And uh, yeah, this is what I do much more in a deeper segment when I take my sessions, you know, uh, perspectively. And uh, so coming to the second word called as experience discomfort. Uh, let me take two minutes and share some of mine. And I will also ask you to share yours discomfort thing. Uh, I'm sure in the last three, four months, you have definitely felt uh, and experienced a sense of discomfort in your present way of living. So as far as mine, uh, I was trying to do too many things in a small period of time. Yeah. Then I understood this is not something which is happening to me. I was like getting more tired and I was not able to focus. I learned many other tricks. None of the tricks was probably working out. The only trick was working out was there is a timer and the timer is bloody help you to run faster, finish faster, achieve that thing. Okay. Mm. And uh, can I, can I tell you something beyond? Are, are you guys okay? Open to learn uh, one more new word? What is it? Yes. Okay. Awesome. So uh, just a second. So there is a word called as uh, Zyg, Zygarnik effect. Z-A-I-G-A-R-N-I-C. Zygarnik effect. So this is taught in psychology. This is a guy who in, I think, late 90s, uh, he has a lot of research paper and I happen to read a couple of his research paper. I, I told you I read a lot of stuff nowadays. So what I understand is he came out with a principle called as one task, which is which we start, we feel little happy when we complete that. We feel little happy. Okay. 
and there are so many examples like probably you start writing uh, probably one one line or one paragraph and you stop in between you will feel a little bit of you know discomfort inside you oh my god i have not done that thing probably you just wanted to do a kind of a morning warm up probably for 2 minutes and you wanted to go for let's say 1 kilometer of a walk something happens in between after 300 meters you get a call and you have to come back okay you have not finished this All right so this is a kind of a little bit of discomfort which i have felt uh, how about you prosper have you done anything like when you let's say you know early morning you get up and you go for your practice in martial arts and something happens probably you couldn't finish that session or finish that particular class how do you feel well actually i don't set a uh, proper time i mean my martial arts is just a kind of simple practice of within 15 minutes you know i, I just i'm just done you know i do my thing i'm done okay so it's very simple i'm not i'm not uh, Today about martial arts, I'm more in a zone. Uh, I don't try to stretch my my uh, my comfort zone. It it flows as it is, and and I'm okay that it could take another decade. You know what I mean? So I I don't try to to do more out of it. Okay. So I don't. So, let, let me put it this way: you just might be this is this is another area, but let's say you have just had a an understanding. Okay, today morning I will be just probably warming up for say five minutes and uh, or else you will be taking a French class for one hour with the kids and uh, yeah. suddenly you start and you stop in between. How do you feel? You mean that uh, I have my French class and I stop in between, right? Yeah, you Is just it? started it and probably you've not done it. Or you just started your meal, finishing your meal and suddenly something happens and you have to leave. Yeah, I. <laughs> so this is not my word. As I said, this is this gentleman who has done amazing research on that. His name yeah. is uh, Zygarnik, Z A I G A R N I C. You can read about mm -hmm. him. A huge lot of papers. But I found this is something which resonates with me, and many people, knowingly or unknowingly, we feel discomfort if we don't finish up certain task. I see that. Uh... Well, I would say that it happened for me that an hour is not enough. Does it, uh, does it answer that into that frame of discomfort? Uh, it depends. What, what was your time that you have fixed? Let's say My time is the one, one hour French class, for example. Okay, cool. And I want to give more. Uh, that is different. That is different. I'm talking about one different. hour which you have set. And you stop probably... Okay, another thing is, let's say you are talking to me and you are closing me. So everyone okay. is from, uh, you know, a different thing. And uh, probably 15 minutes before you are closing, the yeah. internet goes off or the network is so sad that we disconnect. How do you feel? I feel very discomfortable. Yep. Yeah. There's a point here, but this is something that I can't control. If my connection doesn't work, then I can't control it. Yeah. So it's the same thing. Like, you know, if I, I'm not going into the factors, but this gentleman has gone into a lot of factors and analysis and a lot of things, which I'm also learning right now. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I'm learning a lot of things. Okay. okay. So who joined? Okay. Right. So let's go into the next part. Okay. The next E, easy starting sequences. Okay. So earlier uh, I have told you about time hacking and all those things. And uh, so today probably I need to change my last communication because I think I have evolved this last couple of days. And there is something called as a stupid start. Just bloody start. Okay. I, I don't know that that is a word that I have coined myself. It's called as stupid start. Just start. Whatever you were thinking of. Stupid start. Okay. I mean, I just coined that name. I mean, you can put in it your ways. Smart start, quick start, whatever. I'm talking about just start. Don't think about this. And take only five minutes or two minutes. Just start it. 
or might be just 30 seconds but start it whatever it is okay you don't have mm -hmm. to plan for one year one month one minute the uh, urban or one hour no probably just start with 30 seconds take a pen and paper start writing your stuff use it for one minute just one minute okay right so I, I don't know okay oh this is june Sorry? Yeah, June. Hey. Hi, June. Uh, hi, June. I think, uh, thank you so much that you could make and uh, join with us. So we are, I think, uh, quite in deep right now. <laughs> okay. So let us go from here. This entire session is recorded and I will try to send you the recording link once it is done. So don't worry on that. And I'm happy that you could make to uh, be in this place. Thank you so much. So okay uh, so let me ask uh, Rosper once again you I mean since you have been answering a lot of stuff uh, so do you think this is something which is resonating with yourself uh, the stupid start is something yeah with myself because I try to be a little bit too much too much perfections okay, okay. and uh, thinking about different things what I should what I shouldn't then let's make it stupid let's fail first and then he goes from that Okay. At least I start, you know, instead of yeah. thinking and overthinking. That's why stupid start is not a bad name that I put. is very it's smart. I mean, it's a okay. smart way to, to, to say it. Yeah. Okay. So we have uh, Abdul and we have Pra Prakash and uh, June. If you have any other informations, uh, you know, uh, with the same thing, you can you can share. Okay. Uh, Emilia, you want to share something about stupid start? Um, not really. It's a, okay. It's a good good thing to do. It's a bit difficult sometimes for me too. Let me tell you, the first time I I started, you know, uh, doing this uh, selfie videos, which uh, we were supposed to put in Facebook, man, I was so damn scared. I had to <laughs> start. <laughs> Great, <laughs> you're doing great with them. Okay, and uh, so today if you feel that I know, today I have not sent an email to anyone. I have directly had a, on a video, I just recorded the video and I just shared. The same message was yeah. shared and we are all here, we're on the same page, right? So let's uh, deep down dive is right now here. We are uh, at the last thing of deep is called as power ups. Okay. So your ritual needs to ensure your brain gets enough support it needs to keep it operating at always at a high level of depth. For example, the ritual might specify that you start with a cup of good coffee or make sure you have access to enough food of the right type, maintain energy, integrate light exercise such as walking and help and mind clear and all this stuff. But you know what? You might find that we know all, all about this. What is the power up? But let me tell you, in my session, what are the things that we do is, I talk about something called as human prime time. I talk about how do you nitro yourself. And we show about something called as cardinal systems. It precisely which hour you should be doing networking, which hour you should be doing deep study, which hour you should be doing eating, which hour you should be doing exercise. Everything is sequenced. And this is so particular because we also try to do something called as time hack. So as there are a lot of people here, you might know that what we do is more about probably doing 127 hours of job in less than 15 hours or 16 hours. This is inhuman. This is inhuman, right? So let's, let's go into the second part. So I'll be talking about something called as great decision. So guys, do you have any idea about great decision? Have you ever heard of this sentence or this word? No. No. Okay. Uh, Abdul, I, I don't know if he's there. Okay. Anyone else? No, I haven't heard about this. Awesome, right. So this is something new for you guys. Great. I think I can trademark this. <laughs> so guys, I think you can, you can help me out to do this. Okay, so let's go one more step ahead. 
So today, let me put it in this way. Right now, you are sitting here. Okay, Emilia, I think we are we are we are around uh, half an hour plus, and uh, you have a decision to do. Either you can get up from here and you can do your own stuff. You can make your call. Prosper, you have got something else. Uh, Abdul, you might have something else. So there is a decision happening. And let me put it this way: in a, you know, in ourselves, there are two different angels. A good angel and an evil angel. A black one or a white one. Okay. Uh, are you able to are you able to be with me right now? Are you able to see what I'm trying to say? So why I'm calling them as angel? Because both of them are thinking good about me. They are helping me to decide. Right? Now, let me give an example. Okay. It's a very famous line from, uh, I think, Shakespeare, to be or not to be. Okay, how many of you are hungry right now? I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there is an amazing thing in front of you. It's, it is something that, let's go back. Now, this is, this is the situation right now. And uh, there are two things in yourself. One is telling, oh man, you have been working the whole day. You definitely need to have a treat of yourself. Not a problem. You can take one bite. You have been working so far, man. You need you need to you know uh, you need to give that pat to yourself. You need to prize yourself. Just one bite. It doesn't make any sense. The other one might say no. This if you do. Okay. By the way, let me tell you my my shifu for my fitness, Mr. Prakash is also here, <laughs> and. He makes me to run around, you know, in the early morning at five o'clock when no one wakes up in my city. Probably hardly. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and probably, you know, I have another kind of a person in the, inside me, the good angel or evil angel. I don't know, but someone says, "Don't." It got cheese. It got fats. It has got something which is not good for yourself. Find another option. Don't eat this. Stay, stay hungry for another one, uh, one hour, not a problem. Have water. You see what is happening right now? You have two angels because both of them are thinking good about me. And let me tell you, my dear friends, we are just doing or we are taking, you know, and uh, what to say, orders from these two people. We can only take orders only when both of them unanimously have a great decision. Are you there with me? Yeah. Okay. Now the degree of gray, I don't know. Now you call it as 50 shades of gray or 100 shades of gray, I don't know. The deepest one is whatever. You call, you call it as a, or as a good part or a, or a black angel or a white angel. I don't know. But let me tell you, if today, right now you're thinking of you know grabbing this burger and taking one bite, both of them wins. There is a winning. There is a logical decision has been done on your head. Do you see that? If you have taken a bite, mm. someone wins. Now, if it is one bite, okay, degree of scale of gray might be some percentage, 20%, 30% white, 80% black or whatever. I don't know. Who is black? Who is white? I have no idea. But the thing is, there is a percentage of action that we have taken because of this damn decision. Now, how much time did you take to realize and you came here? You have taken a decision, right? You have taken certain decision to be here, to study this thing, to do something, to practice another hour more, to make one more push up, to run one more, one more round of your jogging or probably doing fitness, whatever. This is, uh, let, let me put it this way. Your decision, there is a lot, uh, there's an amazing sentence by one guy that your decision has made you what you are today. Right? Do you agree with this? Any, any uh, off bits with this, my statement? This is not my statement, by the way. You are what you have decided today, right now. Okay, so let's, yeah. okay. let's go ahead. Why I'm talking about all these things is uh, let me quote from uh, Mel, Mel Robbins. 
she has something called as a five second rule five four three two one do it great i was talking about mel robbins so she says anything that you wake up so just count five four three two one launch and you're up but for taking that also don't you think the angel has to tell you yes together every damn thing that you do in your life right now from the next very second you will be actually doing this because of a great decision that's an unanimous decision they both decide and you bloody need to work that now all these things happens because of the time of them to decide to amicably come together and to find out what is the action if you don't want to have this burger fine but there is a thinking time the thinking time is basically when these two guys are fighting man right uh prosper can i can i take your quotation on the on the first session you have told me something am i am i okay because this is something which is going to be public yeah sure you can right. you can borrow it i, I don't know what they have said before but yeah tell me prosper had mentioned probably around four weeks back or five weeks back that a very nice word that in martial arts the power the authority and the wisdom is when you don't fight you walk away i remember that it is so powerful wow. you bloody mastered this art you can you can kill somebody in one jab or one chop but still you don't you just walk away then say that too in one of his uh is a uh, week session but okay. would you like me to share my story about that yeah why not go ahead okay i want to make it short so we can keep moving on sure no problem uh, so is the art of fighting without fighting you know so at the end whatever i fight or i don't fight if i fight well they lose or i lose and if i lose by winning means like if i hurt people then i go to the jail that's simple right right so but at this moment sometime you you have a tendency of greed and angriness and you want to fight right and then you get challenged by three people and that this is something about you or something very rational about you uh as a chinese person so i feel very bad about that so i go up them but the point of my my key training is to keep my structure with a full integrity not giving out anything but and feel more contained you know i'm not giving anything i'm ready but i don't appear that i'm i'm ready for a fight so this is my skill behind so i'm coming at them with my center with, with my structure and and for me it was that moment that i was so close to them that if it happens anything i have to shoot i have to to do something i have to release my my punch my fist whatever it is whatever it comes yeah but in the same time they can't do anything because from my physical appearance i didn't show that i want to fight so mm. that's very interesting there there's a dilemma of i control my center i harness my center in a way that out from outside i don't appear that i can fight i, I don't want to fight but inside i'm very ready 100000% i'm ready to release anything from a very short distance right so at the end of uh, the whole thing well we end up with a kind of uh, shake hands and goodbye and everything you know it's go and finally the outcome that i have to that that i'm happy that i didn't do anything and they didn't do anything because i didn't show that so that's why i called the art of fighting without fighting amazing amazing and that's a real story right so thank you so much prosper for sharing this uh, the guys who would be listening to this video later just to tell you prosper an amazing friend of mine a brother of mine he has been practicing martial arts for 25 years and this is the same thing that he told me almost a month back it is such a yeah. amazing story <clears throat> guys i would have to i have to go now sorry about that no 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 maybe you soon <laughs> thanks recorded. a lot i will I, this is recorded don't worry i will try to share this off this will be on youtube 
and uh, hope to see you later. Okay. Right. Just... Great. Thanks. Thanks, Amelia. Yeah. Bye, bye, Amelia. Yeah, bye, bye for now. So, okay. So this is another part of uh, amazing session where you know we have got a lot of people to discuss. We share thoughts, and uh, you can stop me anywhere. And it is right now. I'm just trying to do a moderation, but this is an open platform. So we welcome people here to share their ideas, uh, views, and uh, yeah, this is an amazing way of co-learning, right? So go ahead. Okay, so uh, how many of you uh, still want to take a burger or still thinking what to do? <laughs> right, so decision is not yours. Now you know that your every Adam action is taken by a gray decision. Okay, the degree of gray is degree of your action. Now, coming to deep thinking and deep working, what do you think? Your deep thinking needs are deeper gray. A decision that is something, this does not have any shade, but the thing is, you need to train up these two people and become your one. It is not about faster, it is not about slower. But it is a rational, and rational is, uh, and for me, it's a stup stupid word. It's a very stupid word. And that's why I say, take a stupid, small, smart step. Just try. You will find the good and evil, whatever. So these are certain hacks that we have in deeper section when we talk about that in our session. So let's go back. And I think we are almost at the end of it. And we need to find out how to decide. The time to decide makes all of us different individually. Anyone wants to talk anything about this? Open house? I'm more, uh, more open to welcome anyone. Well, time to decide where you are leading to by, by saying that. No, time to decide is something which makes everyone different. It is just the decision by which we are all different. Some people take the decision within time, before time, or after time. Okay. Anyone else? Abdul, do you want to comment anything here? Okay. Right. So, rule of seconds, uh, 10 seconds. Prosper, you want to say anything? Yeah, I want to say something. I mean, for me, when I decide, the moment I decide, I cut everything. When I decide, I already cross the line. I yep. mean, yes. but when I say time to decide, what, what does it really mean? It means, uh, I try to understand a little bit like, uh, you know, you can have one month before decisions, mm. one day before decisions, one minute before decisions, you know, or yes. a second before decisions. Right. That's the meaning of time, right? Well, I mean, this is what I try to, because the decision itself has no time. Mm. It's just the moment you decide is, it's just uh, less than, I don't know how many, it's less than a second. It's when you decide, you decide, that's it. You cut off everything uh, previously to jump on something, right? So for me, it has no time. So the time to decide means like, you need to process certain thoughts uh, for a while. Yeah. Uh, it could be within seconds or it could be a month. It could be two months. It could be a year. It could be 10 years. Mm -hmm. And then you're ready to jump on something. That, that, that's the meaning of that? Yeah. Of a time to decide? Okay. Well, uh, time to think and time to react is, I think that it is what is called as time. Yes. Time to think and time to react. Yeah. And between whatever is there is called as the decision time, I guess. Yeah. I just want to add here, Amit. Yeah, please. Yeah. Uh, even uh, as Pros Prosper was telling, like, um, decision is something that you have to take, uh, right? Even uh, that five second rule, even I feel like it is too long. If you, if you want to take, you have to take within a second. I feel that right now. Because even the five seconds, sometimes the five seconds becomes long for me. Even yeah. I tried that one. 
Yeah. And the five second becomes very long. Like five, four, <laughs> seconds, by that time, like some some other thought comes. I ah, let me sleep or something. Yes. So if it if it is yes, just one second. Just jump and go. Yes, you're right. Mm-hmm. Uh, can I add something? Yeah, sure. Please go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Different. I have some. I have some hard time to to wake up earlier, you know, and when, and when the alarm is on, and I count myself one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I sleep again. <laughs> I'm so tired, and I still count one, two, three, four, five. And after that, there's an hour pass, and it's okay. I have to get up, but I can't. I always try to get up very early, but yeah, somehow it's. Uh, I feel powerless on the decisions on the time of reactions i feel so powerless on this one yeah. so right so uh let's go ahead yeah that that's it i just to share that um yeah. it's, it's a crazy thing you know like uh the decision for me is just a split seconds it's like okay i decide just go you know so if five seconds yes is is long and for me, when I count five, I still didn't do. And, I, and I'm waiting for the next hour to really, okay, I just get up, you know. So, um, so if you want to kind of have a taste of what to, you know, uh, I do in my sessions is, I tell you, the first thing is when you conceive an idea of anything, uh-huh. conceive an idea. So the idea right uh-huh. now, uh, let's say the idea is to have this, okay? And uh-huh. another thing is, there is a time to take an action when you grab it on your hand and you pull it near your mouth and you are just about to put your first bite. Mm. That is the reaction time. And anything that happens between all these things, when you actually intend to take the hand and touch this burger physically, mm-hmm. and taking that first bite. Now, these are all different, different, different parts of action. First part of action probably just to know and figure out do you want to have a burger or not. Mm. Second thing, what kind of burger? You see, you are deciding every moment. And these are the two different people who are helping you to deselect that. You see, it is not the yeah. five seconds. It is not the two seconds. It is small, small things. These gentlemen, I mean, ladies or whoever they are, these angels, they go into minute step of decision making. That's the same reason I call it as machine learning, deep learning. It is zero or one. You want to have 15 options. Okay, burger. Okay, great. But 15 options, it is a yes or a no, yes or a no, yes or a no, like that. And ultimately you said, okay, burger, looks good. Okay. What is the next thing? Chicken, veg, whatever. Again, yes or a no, yes or a no. You see the decision happening? So if I take the example of a burger here, yeah. it will break down the actions. Exactly. In the small pieces. So knowing if I want the burger or not is a yes or a no. Holding the burger, the moment I hold the burger to touch it or not is a yes or a no. Everything. And the moment I bite it is a yes or a no. And, no. and the, the, those two angels are here to you. Even if you yeah. buy it, you have got 100 ways or 100% uh, you know, reaction time to just throw the burger off. Refund that entire thing. Okay. You don't know. And this is happening in small parts. So, you know, uh, in my session, this is what I'm trying to do is I help people to select one. Why do you think, uh, what is his name? Uh, Mark Zuckerberg, right? Mm. He has got only one t-shirt, one shade of t-shirt. It's a great t-shirt. I don't know if you know that. Yeah. He has got hundreds of them, but he has got the same size, same color. He doesn't want to waste time in deciding. This is not not something which is uh, just I'm telling you, but this, this scientific reasons are there because of this. The faster, log, I mean, logical, illogical. I don't want to do this. The faster you decide, the faster you take an action. And the faster you take an action, the faster you become what you want to become. Simple logic. It's just so simple. Right. Are you there with me? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The reasoning, the no excuse, no victim, and all this shit. Man, these are all done to tame these two angels. But by the way, you cannot tame them. You cannot tame them. 
because every part of the decision whether it is a gray or shades of gray it is something that you have to condition them you cannot tame taming and conditioning are different to an extent meditation does help to focus but understand to sit for that meditation also you have to fight are there with me yeah yeah so time to decide is done so i'm going to tell you something which is beyond now i always try to do that i try to give you more value and this is something where so far i've been talking about pomodoro and pomodoro slots and slot machines and how do you hack your time and today after all these things i am also evolved and this is what i feel is we we have got this five things which can actually give you that deep learning deep earning deep working and all the deep shit it's deep it's quite deep so the first one is called as overrule procrastination so procrastination let me be very easy for you you know this is something like just do that stupid small thing do it for 2 seconds let's see what happens take the pen and paper if you need to write something buy that thing come I and go to the shop at least and buy the stuff if you need to eat something take it in your hand if you want to start doing jogging okay wear the shoes let's see just tell that small thing the hack that small thing overrule the procrastination right so coming to the second point is i call it as momentum and inertia these are both the words taken from physics okay so now in the last slide i told you about how do you decide so it basically starts with an idea then it starts with taking that idea into a second level of choices even deciding that choice is a decision right okay then you go to that action thing you decide to do something thing okay but you had to start somewhere you need to figure out which direction you want to go so let take that you know same burger even before you have decided that you have to have a burger there is already a sequence of information which is gone and these ladies had been actually deciding okay you need to have a chicken burger okay do you want more bread on that do you want a uh, fries along with this uh, you want to sit and have or you want to take a parcel or you want to order something i don't know you see there are different levels of information which goes in right so i i don't want to go deeper right now at this point but this is uh, the five in you know the five points which is like beyond promodoro i'll talk about in my classes also uh but here i must my must point out a small thing here is uh if you can do this first and two i don't know one and two points then i think you will learn one trick that i usually, usually i mean i have figured out it's called as an idiot to an innovator okay you can make a note of this these are the two points which will actually help you to become or transform yourself from an idiot to an innovator okay now coming to the third point when i say embracing constraint so this is like anything you need to be consistent you have to be engaged so what right now i am trying to tell you is pomodoro is something where this gentleman has taught about a 30 minutes thing which you can divide into 25 minutes and 5 minutes and other stuff why not to do that in small chunk might be just 5 minutes or 10 minutes right so in if it is a 5 minutes i think for me it works i can focus more it's just 5 minutes so i have trained my mind already okay just 5 minutes just do it man it's okay and we make it repetitive and we make it you know that non perfection kind of things but we start and we do this on a consistent basis so 5 minutes okay another 5 minutes you see it is like bite size chunk and all this happens in a kind of a different rhythm different frequency because uh, different amplitude and this is where i talk about prime time metro level shutdown level resting phase and all these things comes into place otherwise just understand it is impossible to hack 127 hours for 16 hours impossible and the last thing is taking massive actions 
But these actions are all small, taken in different bits and pieces. And then we come to a, a reference point where we check how much we have done. And we follow the same Pomodoro technique. It works. Okay. So I think with that, we are closer to our success. And uh, probably I might say thank you right now. And it's a small thing that I had shared earlier when I was talking about, if you find that this is something which is relating to yourself and it, your, all your help, you can share a kind of a small video testimonial for my LinkedIn and Facebook. Yeah, don't forget to tag me in. And uh, the gift right now is, I will be sharing you a book which says five steps to finding your workflow. Okay, so once you can share me all these things, uh, let me see, and this is what you earn. Okay, so with that, I would like to end my session. So today, I think we have taken exactly one hour, 15 minutes. And uh, I'd like to thank individually all of you guys. Uh, I'm open to another five minutes. If you want to tell me anything at any point of time, you found out this is something which is working for you or anything that you dislike. I'm open to learn all of this. Over to you guys. And I have a question about that, referring to the those angels. Is it uh, the the good angel? Is it about the comfort zone, and the evil angel? Is it about this comfort zone, or do could I understand this way? It is up to you to figure out who is good, who is bad, who is black, who is white. It is up to you. Okay. Because you are only meant for taking an action. You have nothing to decide. Decision is then done by the angel. Okay. At that point of time, if it is something which is good, okay, then you know your degrees of green. If you find that is evil, okay, that is the degrees of again green. So there is no good mm -hmm. decision. See, uh, let me tell you one more thing is, uh, do you think stealing and robbery and murder and all these things are bad? It depends on people. Exactly. I find it is depending on their decision. At that point of time, yeah. it is the angel which decides. No. Yeah. Okay. An angel decides multiple amount of time, it becomes a habit. Mm. Okay. And the habit makes you a character. This is what you are. You've been practicing this 25 years, 30 years. It's what? It's your character. It's your individual. Yeah. Right? So this all starts with the small thing. And the small thing is so happiness, you know, a good and you know, there just imagine there are two people you know on your head and a good and I don't know, let's put it as black and white. Okay, these are two constructing color uh, contrasting colors. Yeah, this is how it happens. Mm. Right. So before we end end up uh, probably open the room for somebody else who want to share anything. Any any, any anybody want uh, want to talk about anything? Hello, Amit. Hey, hi, June. I'm sorry, like the internet hasn't been working, so I went to Starbucks and wow. yeah, it didn't work there. So I had to come back home okay. and ask the Airbnb host if why is why is it working. So, anyways, I got it. I got it back. But yeah, the first 40 minutes just was pretty much I could I could listen to it, mm -hmm. but. I like the concept of the five seconds. I've heard it, yeah, definitely from um, that woman. I forgot, I forgot her name, Mel, Mel, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's a good it's it's good to actually, you know, I think it's a good way to actually put it as a gray zone where you make you give yourself like five seconds rest, and then you then after five seconds you turn around 180 degrees and become and do and make the decision as fast as possible so that you achieve what you want as fast as possible mm -hmm. okay cool right right uh, anybody else and uh, so it's time to say goodbye for now and uh, probably watch out for the next session on friday 8 and uh, we'll be talking about how an influencer is born with content to find out what you want to really do. 
So next session is something which is be definitely hot enough. Another one and a half hours of real time understanding on how you design your own content. And that too, I'll be giving you a kind of a small tip of how can you write a book in 10 minutes. <laughs> okay. So I just leave you with that and I hope uh, I get uh, your uh, brotherhood, your help, your guidance, your inputs. These are all important because I'm also learning like you guys. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Appreciate uh, it. Thank you so yeah. much for being here. And uh, let's reconnect on Friday. You have my email IDs and you are already on Facebook. Anything that you feel I should improvise, I should do it, uh, I should include or I should take it out, you're open to say anything to me. Thank you so much for uh, sharing your time and uh, hope to give you much more better on the next Friday. Trust me, I want to do that. Okay, can't wait. Okay. Right, so book your calendars. I will share you this information and uh, I will try to share you this entire thing. And even if you don't give a testimonial, the same information slides and the down download link is going to reach you. It's a happy new year. Thank you so much, bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Yeah, Abdul, you want to say something? No, that's it. That's it. Uh, thanks for that. Yeah, thanks.